this is Tamara, signing out with some more Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Alright, we're in the final stretch. We're on the last level, stage 8. Oh, yeah, that's right. I always forget about that. Yeah, stage 8. This is when everything goes berserk. Even the stage is tearing itself apart. Ugh. Oops. Yeah, this is just like the big bad is doing everything it can. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that was an accident. I was trying to... Oh, does... That's cool. Does that ability tr go to everybody? Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that. Okay, anyways. Aw, oh, now I lost it. Anyways, this is the last stage, and now just, like, everything is just going berserk. Whatever the big bad is, just sending, like, swarms of destruction after us. And it's... There's a lot to handle. Uh-oh. Up. Oh. What would happen if we can somehow survive that? <laughs> Not sure how, but that'd be cool. Just destruction wheel. <laughs> this is cool. I like that stacking. Alright, Zangetsu and Miriam are taking a beating. I'll make it up to them somehow. Ah, shoot. Fine, I'm just gonna fly over you, dick. Oh, right. Yeah, the faster we fly, the better. There we go. I'll give it to Zangetsu. Uh-oh, nope. Yeah, Gebel is really great for these areas, because otherwise your platforming has to be absolutely, absolutely perfect, otherwise you are screwed. <clears throat> Oops. Leave me alone, fire monster. Nope, he's taking a beating. Uh... Didn't mean to do that, but that works. <laughs> Alright, we're at the boss door. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Um... I don't think Alistair needs the help. <laughs> Guess I'll be that mean jerk. Actually... Okay, this is where the final boss is, and I just realized if we can create a... I think I can do a really cool combo here. Alright. Here's the first stage. I have no idea what this is, but it's kind of cool looking. Alright, now. We use Zangetsu's power. We use... No, no, no. I'm doing this wrong. Alistair's power. Then Miriam for range's sake. Alright, well, the idea was there. I think it worked for a while. There we go. First stage down. <laughs> Alright, that was the first stage. Yeah, so layering in um, Zangetsu's flames with Al Alfred's flames 
and Miriam's range. Yeah, that was pretty devastating. That was pretty quick. All right, but now the real final battle. Actually, Gebel is also... by the blunt bit. Oh, I should have used Alistair Alfred's This, you gotta watch out for that. And when that goes away, you gotta move to the side. Yes, I know what I'm doing, or at least I have an idea. Oops. Gotta watch out for Alfred, he's pretty low on health. Oh, right, he can't reach. Zangetsu can reach if he's got double jump, which he doesn't have here. Uh-oh. No! Oh, damn it. No. Stupid. Ugh, I accidentally switched to Alfred at just the worst possible moment. Ugh, damn it. Okay, so now I gotta redo all that all over again. Ah, shoot. I shouldn't have done that. Alright, we'll make this work, because I can still use Zangetsu's power-up and deal some damage. <clears throat> Stupid. Okay, my mistake. I switched to Alfred at just, like, the worst possible second. Oh, come on. Right where I was standing. Okay, there. Lucky. I went the wrong direction, but I managed to get her. Alright, second stage. Alright, we're gonna make this... Try again. Now I just gotta do it without, without Alfred, which is possible. Oh shoot. Timing's not perfect, but it works. I think it's Zangetsu. It's so hard to reach the top of her head. Ah, dang. Okay, that doesn't work. Shoot. Ah, 
Ah, shoot. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Oh, shoot. Gotta watch it. Gotta watch the battery. Okay, that helps. There we go! Final shot. Alright, there we go. And now a big ball of demonic energy, and Zangetsu comes to save everybody! The people he despised at the beginning. Zangetsu was astonished by his own actions. For what reason did he do this? He existed to slay demons and take revenge, but long-lost emotions have been rekindled. However, the time for that has passed, or had passed, and I missed the rest of it. Basically, yeah, the people he was gonna kill originally now become, are his friends, and he sacrificed himself for them. And so, in order to stop the new Dark Emperor, Zangetsu's allies plunged into battle again. They may have to end their allies' life. But can they still save his soul? To be continued. And now that's either to be continued in Ritual of the Night, or there is a way there is another storyline. The thing is, there's multiple storylines on how you want to do this. Then there is, um... Because now, well, some modes unlock every time you beat the story in a different way. And so when you beat the story, that's probably the first way you beat the game. And so what that unlocks is then Nightmare Mode, which then lets you play as the other three characters, M Miriam, Alfred, and um, Gebel, and you play as them at the start of the game with no Zangetsu. And I think there's a different final boss, but I have yet to beat it that way. The only other way I've beaten the game is playing as Zangetsu, killing all your would to be allies, which gives them a ton of different powers. And when you beat the game like that, you get Ultimate Mode, which gives Zangetsu all the powers right away, and plus an ex some extra stuff. But yeah, that was the first playthrough of Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Again, it's a really cool game. It's like, it is very much like, a, you know, the new Castlevania, I guess. If Konami isn't going to make new Castlevania games, this is the series I think is going to take it over. And, you know, this is a great first example. You know, this came out before Ritual of the Night, which is the big game. And if, you know, if Ritual of the Night is half as good as this game, you know, we're in for something really special. So, yeah, Curse of the Moon. If you, if you like original Castlevania games, this is the one, this is something to pick up. This could be, like, you know, the best Castlevania game. <laughs> and, you know, it's just something so simple. And it could be the best retro Castlevania game. And, you know, that just says a lot. Oh, you also unlock boss rush mode eventually. So, yeah. That was that. We beat that not even an hour. And I think we collected all the... Um, power-up, maybe? I'll have to look at that. I think we collected all the power-ups. And clear! And then there's where you play as everybody else in Nightmare Mode. You can play as Zangetsu and get a bunch of powers. And you get Ultimate Mode with Zangetsu with more powers. Which, I will do those as well for the channel. But yeah, for now, that was the normal playthrough of Curse of the Moon. So next time, we will probably play as Zangetsu and do the... Normal evil mode, I guess you could say, with Zangetsu. <laughs> Alright, so, until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that, this is Tamara, signing off, and thank you for watching me play Bloodstained Curse of the Moon.